Right now, soccer is a global game, but not all kids worldwide have access to equipment to play. What two local men are doing to change that. Plus, get outside this weekend because it'll be nice. Alex will share with us just how warm it'll get. And a statue honoring the life of Belle Phillips gets final approval to go up on the state capitol grounds. How soon until it is erected? That's all coming up right now on News 3 Now at 10. Well, with spring here and summer on the way, it is easy for many families to dig out their soccer balls and cleats or buy some new ones. But children in countries around the world don't have that luxury despite having just as much love for the game. Armand Rahman shows us an effort here in Wisconsin to help. Two men in Dane County who love soccer are looking for your old soccer gear like this you have lying around the garage because they have a goal of helping kids in West Africa. You know, these are kids with dreams, just like every other soccer player. But when Aliunjai of Cottage Grove went home to Gambia for a visit, he saw those kids scrounge around to find anything they can kick around for soccer, just like he did. We'll use a bunch of plastic bags, put them together and uh, tighten them up. And then I looked at my next player, he's playing barefoot. So he went to state soccer official Tom Bergeron to find out what they could do. I'm a, been a soccer official for 30 years, and I know most all of the coaches and administrative people in soccer in the state of Wisconsin. All you remembered to play sometimes as a child in West Africa. We have to think out of the box. And so to help them, he and Tom had to do the same. Then I'll wrap it up in either a plastic wrap or I'll put it in a box. Inside, soccer balls and uniforms gathered by teams from Waukesha County to Superior. Now Tom is hoping to connect and collect more through their nonprofit Soccer for West African Children. We got a couple of uh, respondents in like the depth of the winter. So now in the spring, summer and fall, will really get things going. Aliu deflates and packages the equipment to send with the distribution company he works with. He got to see the impact the uniforms had on the kids in person. The smile on their faces was great, you know, and then it, it was, there were kids that play on the same street that I play on. And my goal is to just spread the law and spread the word and get soccer balls and get people involved. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Well, we hope you have weekend plans that include getting outdoors because we're in for some nice weather these next couple days. But on the other side of those temperatures, a threat of severe weather for early next week. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington is here tracking it at all. All very, very true. We are tracking alert day conditions still for Tuesday for the threats of high winds, large hail, and the potential for tornadoes. This would be for all of southern Wisconsin. I want to let you know, dial in for the main weather because there are some factors that are going to make this forecast a little bit more complex. What's not complex in the forecast, temperatures that are mild. We're still hanging on to right around 50 degrees. The winds are calm for a change. It's been a windy, breezy day today, so a nice evening if you do late night walks. Perfect night for that. 51 in Madison, 51 in McFarland, 51 is a common number in Dane County here in Cross Plains and in Mount Horeb, also over towards Sauk City, or down to 46 now in Boscobel, the Wisconsin River Valley. I often will mention this will cool down more at night and they have the tendency to warm up a bit more during the day. We have 43, that's the chilly spot right now in Camp Douglas. We'll, we'll wake up on your Saturday morning to temperatures where they should be for this time of year in the middle to upper 30s and look at how warm we get on your Saturday. Temperatures climbing all the way up to near 70 degrees. We'll get warmer on your Sunday. Monday's going to be a warm day. Tuesday, temperatures might be a bit tricky to forecast, but it's the warmth that's one ingredient for the severe weather on Tuesday. We'll track that alert day system and some of the complexities in a few minutes. Alex, thank you. What has been a few years in the making became official today. A statue of Vell Phillips will be erected on the Capitol grounds sometime in June. The state capitol and executive residence board granting final approval for a statue commemorating the life and legacy of Vell Phillips. It'll become the first statue of a black leader or any person person of color on the grounds of the Wisconsin State Capitol. We want to make sure once this statue goes up in June uh, that Vail Phillips and her legacy live on, not just by seeing a statue. We want young kids and all families of life to see representation at our state capitol. 
Val Phillips was the first black American woman elected to a statewide office, serving as the 29th Secretary of State in Wisconsin. Other achievements include her being the first black woman to graduate from UW-Madison Law School and the first black judge in Wisconsin. Well, tomorrow, Capitol Square will be busy and rather full as the Dane County Farmers Market returns for the 52nd season. The weekly market that consistently draws large crowds to downtown Madison hosts more than 200 vendors and is billed as the largest producer-only farmers market market in the nation. It will run each Saturday from 6.15 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. Turning now to crime, Madison police are looking to identify a woman who cut a shopper at a pick and save on Madison's south side. MPD shared these photos of a woman and her car. Police say she used a weapon to cut another shopper's face. It's believed this happened because of frustration over how long the victim took to check out. She was taken to the hospital for her injuries. No word at this time on her condition. If you have any information, Madison police are urging you to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at the phone number you see there on your screen. The woman accused of shooting and killing a man Wednesday night on Madison's north side will remain in jail unless someone posts a million dollar cash bond for her. Police arrested 31 year old Tamar Brianna Beasley Thursday morning for the shooting that happened on Northport Drive. MPD says the two were in a relationship and had been involved in a previous incident in Chicago. A preliminary hearing is set now for April 23rd. Madison police say someone damaged glass panes last month at one of the city's new BRT shelters on the west side. Here's a look at the damage. They believe they shatter, They were shattered by a projectile the size of a BB. This was at the bus stop under construction at Mineral Point at Rose Road. Construction workers found it like this back on March 25th, but when they were last working in the area, March 21st, there was no damage. So police are investigating. They'd like you to call them if you know anything about it. You can leave a tip with Crime Stoppers. That number 608-266-6014. Turning now to what's been a major story early this baseball season, Shohei Otani's former interpreter surrendered to federal law enforcement today and then faced a judge for the first time. Ipe Mizuhara is facing fraud charges for allegedly stealing millions from the Dodgers superstar. Jeff Wynn shares what court documents have revealed about Mizuhara's sports betting. 39-year-old Ipe Mizuhara was shackled by his ankles when he walked into a federal courtroom where cameras were not allowed Friday. Earlier in the day, the former interpreter for Dodger superstar Shohei Otani surrendered to authorities after being charged with a single count of bank fraud related to alleged illegal sports betting. How would you categorize the evidence that was laid out in the complaint? It's a really comprehensive criminal complaint. Former federal prosecutor Jeff Chemerinsky says Mizuhara was formally booked into custody, fingerprinted and photographed by the U.S. Marshal's office before his court appearance, which was brief. During the proceedings, his attorney was able to get his shackles removed. Then the court set his bond amount at $25,000 with conditions for his release. He had to surrender his passport. He cannot contact Otani or any witnesses, and he must enter gambler's addiction treatment. Do you have a first-time offender who seems to have no criminal history. Investigators say between December 2021 and January 2024, Mizuhara placed approximately 19,000 wagers. His total winning bets more than $143 million and his total losing bets more than $182 million, leaving a negative balance of nearly $41 million. Prosecutors say he left an extensive digital trail. A long record of text messages, long record of bank transfers, Transfers. Prosecutors did not comment after court. The federal complaint alleges Mizuhara stole more than $16 million from Otani's bank account. On Thursday, U.S. Attorney Martina Estrada stressed Otani is considered a victim in this case. There is no evidence to indicate that Mr. Otani authorized the over $16 million of transfers from his account to the bookmakers. Now, as for Otani, he released a statement tonight in Japanese. When translated to English, it reads, quote, I'm very grateful for the Department of Justice's investigation. For me personally, this marks a break from this, and I'd like to focus on baseball. The Biden administration says it is forgiving another round of student loan debt, more than $7 billion worth. The move will impact some 277,000 borrowers. It's part of a program enacted by the White House to make it easier for some specific groups of borrowers, like public sector workers, to qualify for loan forgiveness. But Republicans have sharply criticized the program. They argue the president is transferring the cost of student loan debt to taxpayers 
who choose not to go to college or who already paid for it themselves. Still ahead of 10, Alex is tracking alert day conditions for early next week, but not before a mild weekend. Well, plus, a therapy dog at a Wausau school is weeks away from retirement. We'll share what students there are doing to honor their four-legged friend. the lowest prices now during the spring semi-annual sale at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to $1,500 instantly. Get up to 60% off on overstock and clearance items and 60 months special financing with no money down at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. Spring is sprung, and savings are in full bloom. Visit Menards Garden Center for everything you need to get your garden growing. Choose from hundreds of beautiful, colorful flowers, lush trees and shrubs, and everything in between. Menards Garden Center is back in bloom. Stop in today to get your garden on. Check out these fresh deals happening now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built Ford Tough. See your Ford dealer today and celebrate leadership with special offers on Ford F-Series. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County doesn't just build homes, we build financially strong families. Habitat Homes financed through affordable mortgages allow hardworking families to break the cycle of poverty and invest in their futures. Your support changes lives. Please donate today. Madison. A new era in golf has arrived. Introducing TPC Wisconsin. An elite golf club with worldwide privileges. Contact TPC Wisconsin today for your exclusive membership. Get the lowest prices now during the spring semi-annual sale at Ashley. We're cleaning house and everything is on sale. And save even more on closeout. Plus, special financing for 60 months with nothing down. Only at Ashley. Wednesday at 10, a massive renovation project creates chaos for residents of an affordable housing complex in Beloit. Last month, I showed you their concerns. Now others are speaking out. I'm going back to the top for answers. Wednesday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Moving forward. The universities of Wisconsin system is continuing to face financial difficulties. Yesterday, system president Jay Rothman releasing a statement on the state of UW's finances. According to Rothman, the state currently supports 18% of UW's total budget, while tuition only covers 23%. That has led to a large reliance on staff salary cuts along with layoffs. Now the universities are looking for different ways to make ends meet without relying on their staff to take cuts. The universities of Wisconsin have weathered a 10-year tuition freeze, enrollment declines, and inflation. There will be difficult decisions that will need to be made to return to a strong financial footing for our universities. Now the UW system is receiving individual consultations on each university to figure out where more money can be gained. The city of Beloit is inviting its residents to participate in No Mo May thanks to a change in an ordinance. But if you want to participate, you will have to register with the city. By registering, you'll get a city-issued sign saying you're participating in that program. And you'll also ensure, you must ensure that grass and weeds do not grow taller than a foot. No Mow May is a growing movement. By pausing mowing, flowers bloom more easily, helping early season pollinators. We've included a link to register on this story. Just look for it online at channel3000.com. Staying in Beloit, the Skycar minor league baseball team has been back 
now for about a week. And some of the best things, of course, about minor league baseball are all the promotions and giveaways. And this summer, for one night, the Sky Carp will become the Supper Clubbers. And the team has announced a what could have been night, July 12th. When the team rebranded back in 2021 from the Snappers to the Sky Carp, the Supper Clubbers was actually the second most popular name in a fan-generated contest. So the team will take to the diamond that night in special jerseys. Oh, wear the, wearing the special Supper Club jerseys and Supper Club re related concessions and giveaways. A beloved therapy dog at Wausau East High School is retiring at the end of the year. He has worked at the school now for over six years and touched the lives of hundreds of students. Sloan Wick is at Wausau East where students are coming together to honor the beloved canine. Badge's official last day is May 29th. Though he may be gone, he'll be leaving a big legacy. <laughs> K-9 Badge may be leaving the school, but 11th grader Cassie Havel is making sure his face never does. Coming in every day and being able to just do pieces and pieces and see the progress build up until I'm done. I think that's just kind of like an accomplishment every day. There have been a lot of those days. She's been working on the five foot by four foot painting since last month. She plans to keep working on it until it makes viewers feel the same way Badge makes her yeah, feel. You worked hard for those. Warm in the heart, just cause like, He's kind of that figure in the school, that comfort figure. Badge has brought joy and support to the classroom since 2017. Badge has been used as a tool to help people that have been struggling with any mental health issue, whether it's um, panic attacks or anxiety attacks or um, just having a bad day. Greeny. This man. Oh. <laughs> you want to get one? Kid? He's just a ball of happiness for me. Like he's just, he's just gonna make your day happier. Just seeing him, it's happiness. That happiness badge brings doesn't go unnoticed. Other schools have quickly realized how helpful therapy dogs like him can be. Now there's hundreds of therapy dogs throughout the United States and badge was one of the first few um, to be partnered with a school resource officer. When we first started this idea at the police department, I would have never first seen something like this. He's kind of like the heart of the school almost in a way. I think like almost everyone in the school knows him. And through the painting, everyone will continue to know Badge, even after his retirement. Though the painting isn't the only legacy he's leaving behind. The scholarship is called Badge's Carry for Community Scholarship. We um, would like it to continue for the next three years, so our current freshman, freshman class that know Badge, we would like to continue that until they are seniors. It makes me feel really proud and really honored. We're getting a, a new dog. Um, here in the future to replace Badge, but people can remember the impact that uh, a, a dog can have on a school. Time now for another check on the first warn forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Hi, Alex. Hey there, Charlotte. Yeah, let's start off here with the good stuff. That's all the mild temperatures that we're going to have this weekend, and it's mild outside right now. If you step out maybe for a late night walk, we're sitting at 51 degrees here in Madison, 50 in Middleton, 50 in Belleville, so not a whole big difference across Dane County temperature-wise. Things are getting a bit chillier in the Wisconsin River Valley. I was mentioning before, 46 in Boscobel, 46 in Janesville. Temperatures will continue to go down tonight. It's not going to be a super chilly night. It'll be a seasonably cool night in the upper 30s. Look at your Saturday and look at your Sunday. Let's just pause for a second and enjoy this. 69 and 72, sunny skies, winds not terribly strong, a little bit on the breezier side Saturday night as we usher in that warmer temperature towards Sunday. So this, in my opinion, and thinking about everything we've been through in 2024 already, might be the nicest weekend that we have in 2024. But we trade this in. There's always a trade-off when you have warm temperatures, especially in the 70s in April. You have that transition towards colder temperatures next week. Something's got to happen in between, and we're looking at that alert day condition possibility as we go on into your Tuesday. High winds, hail, and the potential for tornadoes are all a possibility on Tuesday, but there's some complexity to this forecast that's been evolving throughout today as we've been looking over the weather models on the first war and weather team. Still high confidence from the Storm Prediction Center of severe weather for all of southern Wisconsin, and we're going to be keeping a close eye and this forecast. Well, what is some of that complexity? Mentioned it at the four o'clock show. Uh, we did a Beyond the Barometer, did a live uh, Facebook discussion this evening. Here are some of the factors that could make Tuesday complex. If it's too cloudy, too rainy, that causes the inability of the sun to warm things up. We also have to watch if the winds are more from the east. 
What would that do? Can you believe that the winds blowing over Lake Michigan pulls that cool water, cool air off that water, brings it inland? That also keeps the warm air from moving in. So my big concern here, which actually may be a good thing because we don't want the severe weather. If we don't get enough heating, we might not get the severe weather. So that's something we'll be watching. Here's those showers and those thunderstorms. Look at our latest weather model bringing in easterly winds here on your Tuesday. That would bring in cool air off of Lake Michigan. So head towards six o'clock. The winds are still from the east and the southeast possibly bringing in cooler air and we might have to drop those temperatures on your Tuesday. This would limit it, the tornado threat from the severe weather potential on your Tuesday, although large hail and damaging winds would still be the threat. Although according to our weather model, eventually as we go later into the night, 9, 10 o'clock, the winds then turn to the south as we head towards your early morning hours on your Wednesday. That could bring enough warm air in, meaning that we could have severe weather overnight so we'll be keeping an eye on it. It's definitely a complex forecast here. Wednesday, maybe even a couple more thunderstorms, which we see in the seven to 10 day forecast after our picture perfect weekend. We're keeping an eye on that complex forecast with the alert day conditions on Tuesday. Following this weather system, we turn cooler that next weekend, we considerably cooler than this upcoming weekend. So get outside this weekend and enjoy. And coming up in sports, Kyle McClellan made program history today. The award the Badger goalie took home is next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Gruber Law Offices, we know how to win. Real cases, real results. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromChevrolet.com. Get a great deal and do a great deal of good when you shop at Habitat Restore. From furniture and decor to appliances and building materials, we've got everything you need for your next project. Shop our convenient East and West locations today. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. It's our lowest prices of the season at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, shop unbeatable deals on the things you need for spring. Like $250 instant savings on this new Cub Cadet Hydro Lawn Tractor. Stock up and save on 20-pound bags of Blaine's brand Easy Scoop Cat Litter. Four for 24 bucks. And get a free bag of Estate Garden Fertilizer when you buy a bag of new Estate Premium 4-in-1 Lawn Treatment. Don't miss our lowest prices of the season in-store or online at farmandfleet.com. It's the High V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday. Buy one, get one free on marinated pork loin fillets or tenderloins. Buy one, get one free on fresh ground beef patties. Buy one Edie's ice cream, get one free. Get a BOGO on Craven Flavor snack crackers. Get a BOGO on Nabisco Chips Ahoy cookies. And buy one, get one free on select post cereal. Don't miss the High V BOGO sale this Friday through Sunday, only at High V. We're often asked, is it really free to hire Gruber Law Offices? The answer is yes. The call, the consultation, free. You pay nothing until we win your case. Gruber Law Offices, one call, that's all.
A lot of people throw the injury prone thing out there. Yeah, I've had my fair share of injuries, but like injury prone injuries are where someone is injuring the same thing multiple times over and over and over again. I think at the end of the day, I just have luck sometimes. Definitely bad luck. In his three seasons in Madison, Ches Malusi saw each season end early with injuries to his knee, his arm, and last year at Purdue to his leg and ankle. But with each setback, Malusi came back. The six year running back is a healthy again, and he made it a point to be ready for spring ball so he didn't have to shake off the rust during fall camp after just playing four games in 2023. And the grind to get back to the field again is part of a journey that Malusi wouldn't have any other way. At this point, I'm just so used to it. Like, it's never been easy. Uh, and I, at this point in time, like, I mean, I don't even really know if I want it to be easy because, like, I don't know, it's part of my story. And at this point, I've just been embracing it. I think a lot of people know, I think everyone knows, I mean, if I stay healthy, I think the sky is the limit. And I think the main goal is just to be myself. I don't, I'm not going to put a goal on, like, I want to have 2,000 yards, I want to do this, I want to do that. I just want to win games. Wisconsin will kick off the 2028 season against Marshall almost 20 years to the date of their first meeting. Back in 2008, the Badgers, remember, spotted the Herd a 14-point lead before scoring 51 unanswered points. Round two between the two is set for September 2nd, 2028. Named after a former Badger, the Mike Richter Award never before has been won by a Badger. That is until today when Kyle McClellan made Wisconsin men's hockey history as the Badger netminer was named the National Goaltender of the Year. McClellan went 24-12-1 between the pipes this year and led the country in shutouts and tied for the national lead in save percentage. Wisconsin softball looking for their first win at Goodman Diamond, taking on Ohio State. And the fifth inning was when things got fun for the Badgers. Two on for Brooks Kuffel and three gone. Kuffel sends a three-run blast to Picnic Point, part of a five-run inning for Wisconsin. UW gets the win, 8-4 to four, the final. A day after an off day, Brewers back on the diamond, opening up a three-game series against the Orioles. Scoreless in the second, and Gary Sanchez rips one into the seats and left. The pitcher, not pleased about that, but how's that for his first hit as a Brewer? The crew hit three dingers and get the win, 11-1, to the final. Technical difficulties caused you not to see the Bucks game on television in Wisconsin, which means I could not roll on it for highlights, so this is the next best thing. Chris Middleton and the Deer were in some alternate unis with no shorts or shoes, but he was on fire. 18.7 rebounds and six assists from him. This is how the game actually went against the Thunder. Bobby Portis rocking the gray headband, but crying because Milwaukee would lose to Oklahoma City 125 to 107. The Packers tailgate tour made a pit stop at Dodgeville High School this morning where current and former Packers, along with Mark Murphy, surprised a pack gym and had a little fun with the Dodgers while talking about the importance of being a leader. Special, um, just being able to be out here, you know, just give back to the community and um, just put smiles on their faces it means a lot. Um, just talking to some of the kids, this is the first time they've seen some of the Green Bay Packers players, so um, it's special to be able to go out here and interact with the kids. And that's it for sports. We'll be right back. A new era in golf has arrived. Introducing TPC Wisconsin, an elite golf club with worldwide privileges. Contact TPC Wisconsin today for your exclusive membership. In a class three casino, you're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win. 
ever. And in a class two casino, the players play against each other and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a class two casino where someone has to win. How about this then? Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. At Menards, we offer a wide selection of outdoor furniture in different sizes and styles to bring the outdoor space of your dreams to life. From creating the perfect place to entertain family and friends, to designing the perfect getaway for you in your own backyard. Right now, get this Berkeley Bay set for $9.99.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Outlets at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family vacationers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We're all about the thrill of the deal, the joy of finding the thing you forgot to pack, the swimsuit that's the hit of the park, the dress that makes you walk with swagger, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Save even more with 25% off and get a free Vera Bradley umbrella. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. Everyone deserves a fulfilling job, but for people with disabilities, the barriers can be overwhelming. It's time to open the door to new possibilities. People with disabilities are getting the education, skills, and training needed to thrive in a wide variety of industries. And they're ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. Thinkability Wisconsin. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now, weekend mornings, moving forward. Alex is back as we take a final check of the weekend forecast. Yes, I hope everybody in southern Wisconsin, everyone sitting at this table here has got something good to do outside this weekend. Be a weekend of allergies, though, too. That's the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the downside of it. But temperatures are going to be really, really nice this weekend. And then we trade everything in for alert day conditions. But prior to those alert day conditions, we've got the warm temperatures. 69 on your Saturday, 72 on your Sunday. Winds are going to be relatively light. A slim chance of a shower on your Saturday night. So I hope, again, everybody's got something nice to do outside. Then we trade all that warmth in for the fuel for showers and thunderstorms on your Tuesday that could bring alert day conditions to southern Wisconsin. We'll be keeping an eye on it all weekend. There's some complexity to that that may actually push that severe weather to the south, which wouldn't be a bad thing. All right, Alex, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good and have a great weekend.